It's been over a month now since I had my Quest 3 and these are the must have accessories I found that are actually worth the money and guess what? They're not first party which means they're better engineered and much more affordable. So if you too are also excited about this, make sure to hit that like button to see that cool like animation. Let's get started with number one and that is the head strap. Don't bother picking up the Meta Elite strap because it's overpriced as there's amazing alternatives out there. Now previously I did feature the Bobo VR in case you missed that previous video it's right over there where I cover some of my other accessories I use day to day on my Quest 3 but I recently swapped it with this one and this is the Zebra head strap. I believe that's how you pronounce it brand. This is definitely a much better version than the Elite strap because it's affordability and this this portion right here actually does bend in addition to that they also provide a little cable clip right here and the mechanism and everything else that it's identical to the elite strap where this little ball back here rotating knob allows you to comfortably lock the head strap onto your face and on top here actually provides some padding something that the elite strap does not this is definitely much more comfortable to wear on long durations compared to the elite strap and the material is nice and flexible that they tested on their website over a thousand times on a stress test and it doesn't crack unlike the elite strap commonly would over time and if you're using the first party minutes docking station to charge your quest 3 this doesn't have any issues whatsoever you simply just rest it and it immediately begins charging so for the 38 dollars this isn't bad now when it comes to battery packs you could do your diy battery banks where you just run a usb-c cable long enough to connect to the quest 3 this works perfectly fine but for amazing alternatives you may want to be interested in comboing the elite strap with the next strap this is a 10,000 million per hour battery that actually does support an output of 20 watts and the beauty about this next strap is you could easily expect to be able to game additional three hours now this uses usb-c to charge and the beauty about this next strap in particular is these little latch on the side allow you to actually pop and release the battery bank which allows you to have a much more portable battery bank on the go to charge other devices so long as you're using the correct cable so this universal neck strap is pretty nifty due to its compatibility to be used on other devices, not just the Quest 3, but the three hour additional battery life that's guaranteed to deliver definitely is an amazing option for those long VR gaming sessions. Now, if you enjoy playing PC VR games tethered, but you also wanna find a way to charge your Quest 3 safely, you definitely want to consider picking up this little accessory right here for just under $30 this actually allows you to charge your quest 3 and stay connected to your PC it's lightweight easy to connect and actually does provide a nice LED feedback to make sure everything's working properly it's really lightweight easy to attach so if PC VR gaming is your thing, this little adapter is pretty awesome and it's compatible on the Quest 2 as well. Now I am an individual that does like to wear glasses. Now VR Waves sponsored this portion of today's video to show us their latest version for the Quest 3. Now VR Waves, they make some incredible prescription lens for VR headsets and they send us a pair for us to check out. And just like the previous VR Wave prescription lens, these things still use magnets, which means once you attach the adapter, you can simply just pop them out like so and the magnets are so strong you don't have any fear of them randomly popping off as you're gaming this makes it super convenient to share your headset around whenever friends are over and you don't want to remove the whole thing entirely you simply just pop them out and store them in a nice safe place so anybody can enjoy playing the vr headset and as an individual that does wear glasses myself it's super narrow on the Quest 3. That's really challenging to fit these things in without fear of them making contact to the lens. So best way to protect your VR headset from experiencing any scratches in the near future, prescription lens are clearly a must. And their website is so easy to use to create a custom order for your prescription. And they also have support as well on their website that you can easily get a hold of in case you need some assistance with your order. And yes, you do have the capability to add blue light as well as anti-glare. Seriously, as a glasses wearer, definitely do consider checking out VR Wave in the video description down below as I purchased some other ones and these ones are still my go-to. Now, if you already have a travel case for your Quest, you may also wanna consider picking up a like some type of VR lens cover because once these lens are scratched, is game over now these things are very inexpensive and you can find some weird looking ones like this one i believe this is peppa the frog kind of creepy but this is a great way to prevent bugs or spiders from actually going in here and 
creating a habitat, which some people on Reddit has found out the hard way. But yeah, definitely do invest in lens protectors for your Quest 3. And speaking of protection, don't pick up the full body cases, XO cases that you see for the Quest 3, as these are known to actually hold heat and cause the VR headset to experience some overheating bugs. But if you absolutely have to pick up some type of like shield, consider getting this one. As this just simply clicks on on the little edges right here, it doesn't block the airflow or anything like that. And since only the main portion of the VR headset is protected, this is a good case if you absolutely need to put one on in case you have kids to just drop your VR headset. And it definitely does change the appearance of the Quest 3 when you're placed. Just a quick heads up, if you have the Quest dock, it may not dock properly as I have to remove it sometimes to actually allow the pins to line up properly to charge. But this is actually not a bad case to give your Quest a little bit of protection while also not altering the performance. Now the Quest 3 does have Bluetooth built in. Unfortunately the Bluetooth, they're, they're not quick, they're terrible latency which is why you can't use like AirPod Pros or other Bluetooth wireless earbuds you may already own onto this thing. So you need to invest in one of these low latency earbuds if you don't want to go with the wired aux cable. These cost around $70, but you can find them on sale most of the time. But these are the ones that I personally picked up due to the fact that it has a small travel case and I can actually pair this onto my phone. And the audio quality surprisingly isn't bad either. And the adapter they provide simply just connects on the side and it also is a continuation to the USB-C port because you can still connect your Quest 3 to be powered on another power source or continue using the tether cable if you're using Oculus Link. So there's no limitations whatsoever. So if you like playing those spooky games with a comfortable wireless earbuds, definitely do plan on investing in picking these, these up right here. These are the uh, Vega T1. It's plug and play, sounds great. Highly recommend. Now you may have noticed the decals I have on my Quest 3, as these are some decals that me and my partner and I have picked up and designed to be optimized to the Quest 3, as we're now releasing a uh, Etsy store where you guys could also pick some up. Some of these designs I personally created, like these hexagon fade one, and pretty soon we're gonna add more. If you'd like to see some designs of your choice you want us to add, feel free to DM me on Instagram or comment down below for some design ideas you'd like to see on the Quest 3. As this is something that me and my partner, we've just been naturally passionate about and we've been having a lot of fun creating. So if you'd like to personalize your Quest 3, check out the link in the description down below. Hopefully by the time this video gets released, the store is already published and ready. If not, just give me a couple of days, it'll be open. So, so continue checking on the video description down below for that store front page. And down there, there's some exclusive discounts for my viewer. Links to everything will be in the video description down below. If you'd like to see a cool animation, again, hit that like button and you'll see it like glow and illuminate right there on the very bottom. Subscribe and for more, check out this video over here where I cover all my favorite tips and tricks and hidden features that the Quest 3 can offer. Thanks so much for watching.